Hey, welcome to Creating Your Challenger Customer Conversation and Insights. Thanks for joining me today because we've got some amazingly valuable insights in store for you today. So are you ready to jump in? Today you're going to discover how the buyer's path to purchase has changed dramatically and the ways of the past are not producing like they used to. And why you need to change your sales and marketing message to connect to the buyers in a completely different way than before. You're also going to discover the keys to differentiating yourself and outperforming your competition in today's new world. And the fourth thing is a great one. This is the first time ever told inside story of the case study on how Xerox uses the challenger sales model to change the conversation about selling copiers and change the way their entire sales force engages with their clients. And you're going to see what the real secret to success is when implementing the challenger sales model. And it's not what most people are saying. So do you believe that the world has changed dramatically just within the last few years? Most have no idea of the magnitude, but can feel there's been a change. Are you seeing that the old tried and true ways of sales and marketing are experiencing diminishing results, missed quotas, and shrinking margins? The premium brands are no longer able to command a premium. And the commoditization of the products has become common as mass marketing has lost its mass. Amazon now accounts for over 75% of all e-commerce transactions. And buyers now have an unlimited access to every product from every company from anywhere in the world from their phone. So marketing has changed, selling has changed, and buying has changed. Have you changed? The good news is that the world has actually changed in your favor. If you know the secret system. Before we talk about that, I want to tell you a little bit about my story and why you should care. Hi, I'm John Golitz, and over the 37 plus years of my career, I have repeatedly outperformed my competition using this very same secret system. I have personally done this with small to large companies and in five different industries and produced over $150 million in sales, in direct sales. Um, using this same system, I've helped hundreds of solo practitioners all the way to Fortune 50 companies. I'm not just a consultant. I am a challenger, and I am ready to help you become one too. So what is a challenger? A challenger, as defined in the challenger sale book, is challengers have a deep understanding of the customer's business and use that understanding to push the customer's thinking and teach them something new about how their company can compete more effectively. So what is this understanding that can help you compete more effectively? So before we talk about what you need to change, we need to first understand why you need to change your sales and marketing message. Marketing has changed, selling has changed, and buying has changed. With all this change, we really need to take a deeper look at each one. So marketing has changed. As more and more marketing content is generated, activities that have worked in the past are no longer engaging the intended audiences and converting into sales leads. Traditional media buys like TV and magazine have lost their popularity. People are now looking for a more personal connection with real people from alternative sources like YouTube and Facebook. Traditional media metrics of reach and frequency are no longer relevant as people have become overwhelmed by mass marketing and now tune out impressions regardless of the frequency. Even activities like blogging and posting on social media have become ineffective as buyers tune out the noise if it's not relevant and does not speak directly to their interests. Product pitches are no longer effective as people are attracted in the early stages of the purchase path, more to like insights and inspiration about solving their problem. 
As buyers go down the purchase path, they're becoming connected to the sellers that are giving them the relevant information that gives them insight into their problem and a clear vision of how their solution can help them. The marketing challenge for today is to connect with buyers early in the purchase path by leading with insights, helpful intentions, and a clear vision of how a solution will help them. So selling has changed and gone are the days of dress to impress and the hard sell closing tactics. The consultative sell has become ineffective as buyers are looking for a more genuine personal connection. The sales strategies and tactics that have worked in the past are now leading to diminishing results with shrinking margins, missed quotas, and the commoditization of solutions. Recent studies have shown the number of sales reps hitting their quota declined for the fifth year in a row. This is unprecedented, and it's now at an all-time low of 53%. If sales reps are not providing a unique value early in the sales process, they're not being invited to the table where the decisions are being made. As the lines between marketing and sales have become more blurred, more buyers are taking different paths than the traditional funnel. Sales funnels have changed and are more customer focused, and many do not include sales reps at all. Many buyers would prefer not to deal with sales reps, but once sales does get involved, the decision factors have been determined and the preferences for products have already been formed. For sales reps, the process is being reduced to a price competition as most of the non-price considerations have been researched and decided upon based on information found online. The sales challenge now is to find insight that gets the buyer to think about their problem in a way they have not thought of before and that leads the buyer to their unique benefit. Now only 13% of sellers can articulate their unique benefit in a way that buyers think is unique and a benefit. Can you? And buying has changed. The internet and the smartphone have exploded the path to purchase for almost all products and services. Buyers have become more fickle and more educated than ever before. Buyers now have access to an overwhelming amount of conflicting information about every product and service anytime from anywhere. And with 97% of the purchasing decisions beginning on the internet, buyers are educating themselves online and are going much farther down the purchase path before they engage the sellers. When researching their purchase, buyers have become desensitized to mass marketing and can read the opposing pros and cons about anything. Buyers are now looking for a connection to people they can trust to separate the good from the bad and lead them to the solution that is best for them with relevant information, when they want it, and where they want it. The buyer's challenge has become sifting through all the conflicting and competing information to determine who they resonate with and which solution is best for their specific needs. So with all this change, have you changed? And are you searching for a solution that will deliver lasting results? Well, what is that solution? If you are able to lead your customers with an insight that teaches them something new, and changes the way they think about their business or challenges the customer's current worldview of how things are supposed to work, you elevate yourself from the competition. And when you challenge the customer conversation with insight that leads your customer to a solution that depends on your unique benefit, in the customer's mind, you differentiate your solution and lock in your value. So how do you do that? by connecting with insight early in the buying cycle. Google has reported that 69% of buyers make favorable buying decisions from information they receive from sellers early in the sales cycle. That's close to seven out of 10 of your prospects. By providing the buyers with an insight that adds value and actually helps them, you establish yourself as the authority. You build trust and rapport that opens the door to closing business. 
When you learn to unlock the power of the commercial insights and take control of the customer conversation, you will close the door to your competition and open up a whole new way of growing your business with high quality deals. To show you how this process worked for Xerox, stay with me as I tell you my story of the case study that was featured in the Challenger customer. This is my personal story from my days at Xerox. I provided insight on a core issue and changed the conversation with a school system. This was used as a case study for the Challenger customer book and was a catalyst to changing the way Xerox sells its copiers. This opportunity came when I was calling on a major school system in our area. The account was a challenge because Toshiba basically owned the school market as they had a superior pricing strategy that Xerox just could not match. The school system was one of our biggest accounts and the prospect of losing them seemed all but complete as they prepared for an RFP. The buyer loved Xerox, but they were required to take the low bid. There was no way we could compete strictly on price, so it didn't look good. At the time, Xerox marketing department was experimenting with doing studies about printing with color and found that students learn better when the teacher introduced color for highlighting and use color pictures. When I presented the infographic you see here to the school, they were intrigued because it talked directly to their core need of helping teachers teach better, but concluded color copying was way too expensive. So to overcome this objection, I proposed a new Xerox copier called the Color Cube that had three tiers of pricing as opposed to two tiers of black or color. So with three tiers, printing a page with a little bit of color was just a little more expensive than black and white, but not nearly as much as full color. And no one else had this type of three-tier pricing. This insight that color helped teachers teach changed the conversation in a direction that gave Xerox a competitive advantage. This unique benefit for the school was that the teachers could use this tier of color printing to print lessons with highlights and color to focus the kids' attention and produce much better results for a little more than plain black and white. The school loved it so much they changed the RFP to include this specification, and Toshiba suddenly could not compete. Toshiba's cost of color copies was way higher, and as a result, their bid was higher, and we won the multi-million dollar contract. This is a prime example of how I changed the conversation by providing insight that helped the customer look at their business in a way they had not considered to solve their core challenges, which were learning better and reducing costs. So this case study became the poster child for Xerox on how to sell using insight. It's also an example of how I changed the conversation about selling that changed the direction of the whole company. So here Kevin Warren, president of Xerox U.S. Client Operations, says that the challenger sales speaks to the core of how we're engaging with our clients. We want our sales force to deliver insight and value, not sales pitches. That's why our entire organization is being trained on the skills and behaviors that make challengers successful. So when the Challenger sale authors were working on their second book, they contacted Xerox. Leah Casada, the vice president of Xerox Global Marketing, chose me and this case study out of over 100,000 Xerox sales executives. The Challenger sale authors interviewed me and used my success story as the feature Xerox Challenger case study in their second book, The Challenger Customer. I'm actually the only sales rep personally referenced in either book, even though they researched over a thousand star performers in many different industries. Here's one of my quotes from the book on page 113 and 114 on the Challenger customer. The deals that I get involved with, I'm winning almost all of them. Once I reframe the conversation around student learning and how Xerox can help, there's no more talk of competition. It's as if the door closes and I'm on the inside, and everyone else is on the outside. And I actually remember making that comment while I was in the interview, and literally the whole room just stopped. They were like, 
what? So here's what Leah Casada says about me. Actually, this is a um, LinkedIn referral. I'm not going to read the whole thing that you can read it on the, the LinkedIn or on our website. But um, I was actually really just blown away at the personal attention that Xerox Corporate gave me on this deal. And at, at the time, I, I was completely blown away. Now, looking back, I can see why they made such a big deal of it because it was really the perfect thing that was showing them how this insight mark marketing really does work. But for me, the story does not end there. Even though I became the catalyst for introducing the Challenger sales model to Xerox, I knew that it was not my personality, but my messaging that was the secret. And as I look back over my career, I've been a challenger for most of my 37 years of selling. So it really has been the major success factor and the reason that I was able to dramatically outperform my competition in five different industries and over $150 million of product and services sales. So I started to develop this skill from the earliest days of my career. And I started with commercial real estate and then later transferred that to technology sales with IBM and then real estate brokerage and land development. And then uh, finally to this um, little product called PMF in alternative medicine. So most recently, I've been using my skill as a challenger to help wellness practitioners sell their services. I say being a challenger is a skill because I believe it is a skill. A skill that can be learned and perfected. Now the current wisdom says that a challenger is one out of the five personality profiles. Here the CEB, which is the research team that wrote the first book, illustrates the five profiles. There's the hard worker, the challenger, the relationship builder, the lone wolf, and problem solver. It's funny because after I was interviewed for the second book, I read the first book and I totally identified with the Challenger profile. And even though I am the quintessential Challenger profile, I have found that the high performing results of the Challenger conversation and insights can be transferred to any personality type and can even be achieved in an automated email marketing campaign. So this is the real secret. And as the grind of selling more and more Xerox copiers grew tiresome, I desired to develop a system that worked even when I was not working. And I knew of the automated marketing platforms of a lot of internet marketers. So I left Xerox and set out to develop a sales system that was less dependent on me and more dependent on my challenger conversation and insights. So I went out on my own and became a distributor of an alternative medicine device called a PMF system for a small, little-known manufacturer. Soon after I started working with this company, I changed the focus of their entire market. I completely changed not only the customer conversation, but I changed the customer with which we were having the conversation. I went from selling an expensive piece of technology to chiropractors treating people to offering a business opportunity for practitioners wanting to have a career treating horses. I took the success of that message and then scaled it with an automated email marketing platform. It was powered by cold Facebook leads in a campaign we called Dreaming of a Career with Horses. This is actually our best performing Facebook ad and that's a picture of my daughter Samantha and our stallion Bagheera that my wife took on her phone just standing outside of our barn and this ad literally made us millions of dollars. Our campaign became such a success we sold over six million dollars of machines in less than two years in a tiny virtually unknown niche often with very little direct sales contact. I then took that successful customer conversation and insight to a very diverse group of new sales associates with virtually no sales experience, and I saw them succeed as well. 
This campaign proved to me that the messaging system that I call the Challenger Conversation and Insight was working. My system was actually turning the Challenger sales model into an automated system, not dependent on the personality of the person delivering it. So using the same messaging system, I've also been able to teach hundreds of practitioners with minimal experience and they now use this challenger customer conversation system to start and grow businesses of their own. And I know that it's the challenger customer conversation insights that are the real secret to this success. So are you ready to see what the challenger customer conversation and insights can do for your company? If the answer is yes, I can help you. Sure, you can go down the process of discovery and self-evaluation on your own, and for many, the path of self-discovery leads them down a familiar journey of dead ends and side trips. The path to a deeper understanding of who you really are and what your unique benefit is can be a tricky journey to travel without a knowledgeable guide. It's a classic case of standing too close to the forest to see the trees. After all, this self-discovery stuff is hard. So if you're ready for a faster, proven system that can help you create your marketing insights and messaging, the big question is, am I the one to help you? Are you looking for a star performer that's been in the sales trenches and knows his way out? Not just a consultant that's done the research. Are you looking for a proven system that will deliver results faster than you can do on your own? If you are, I've done it for myself and hundreds of others, and I can do it for you too. And here's how I can help you. The Challenger Customer Conversation and Insights is an eight-step system that starts with guiding you through a comprehensive assessment and really understanding your why for your business. Then we look at your customer and really dig deep into understanding them and what their core issues, problems, or challenges are. Next, we change the focus to your position in the market. I have a process that helps you see what your message is in context to your competition and the overall market. This, for many, is a real eye-opener and a total game-changer. Then we work on using the intelligence we gathered in the first three steps to find your voice and then tell your authentic story using powerful mental triggers and successful storylines as a framework. We continue on segmenting your message to make sure it's telling the right message to the right buyers during the three critical stages of the purchase path. We finish the process by defining your customer conversations and insights that will be unified on all your marketing assets, like your website, your email series, and social media. This eight-step process produces a marketing message that will be the foundation for your business and your marketing. Once you have completed it, you will have a clear vision on your unique strengths, your customer's core problems, and how you fit in the overall market from your customer's perspective. With this crystal clear vision, you will be able to attract the customers that will resonate with you and have the business you've always imagined. Looking back over my career, I can now see that it was by uncovering insights and changing the customer conversation that I was able to outperform my competition. All these years, I've been a challenger, succeeding using the same challenger methodology that's been studied, written about, and is widely followed today. From my own experience, I know that the system of creating customer conversations and insights that I've developed works in many different industries, selling many different products and services, and is not dependent on the personality type that's delivering it. It's this proven system, along with my passion and experience, that I'm now offering you as your private challenger sales consultant. I've already been down the path, and now I can be your guide and show you the way. So if you're ready to use the challenger sale methodology and grow your business in a way that elevates your solution and brings in more high quality sales, the question is, do you want me to help you? If the answer is yes, then now is the time to get started 
and begin this incredible journey together. And to encourage you to take action, I'm really excited to offer everyone that's watching this right now a very special opportunity to work with me personally. I can only offer this for a limited time and as long as my schedule will allow, but right now I'm ready to help you implement the Challenger customer conversation and insights in your company. So when you hire John Golitz Consulting, you get me, John Golitz, and my personal attention, not some other consultant or staff member. If I take you and your company on as a client, I roll up my sleeves and go to work with all the passion and dedication as if it were my own company. In fact, many of my clients comment about how I make them feel like part of my family and that I care so deeply about their success. I don't try to be everything to everyone and I choose only to work with those I can really impact. So if I don't think that we're a good fit, I'm going to let you know up front. So to make sure we're a good fit, I ask you to complete a brief assessment and schedule a free 45 minute strategy session. In this free consultation, we can get to know each other better and so I can understand your unique challenges and opportunities. I'm always amazed at the great things that come out of these strategy sessions, so be prepared to be challenged. If this is right for you, I look forward to talking with you. Schedule your strategy session right now in the scheduling app below. And thanks for watching.